it's still summertime in New England. And when you go to the beach, you see so many happy people walking on the beach, going into the water. Today I'm going to show you how to paint the ocean with a figure. And I'm also going to show you how to use masking fluid to help you to reserve the white space of the main object. We're going to start product giveaway very soon. If in the video I say this is a product giveaway video, after you watch the video, leave a comment. If you are one of the first 20 people and you would enter into the drawing for one of the two product giveaways in that video. And we're going to do the product giveaways uh, through the rest of the year. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and turn on notification so that when my next video come out, you will be notified. Today I'm going to use the Atizar uh, watercolor cold press 140 pound watercolor paper pads. And I also use uh, another finished process to actually turn it into a block. And I'm going to make a separate video to show you how I make it into a block. So it will be more convenient to use the paper. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little printing. This is, will be the focal point. I'm going to make her to be this big. Like say right over here, like in right in this location. Make it simple, general. First, you don't want to make it too much detail because you have not decided and how the whole arrangement would be. So the beach over here, I'm gonna have some sand coming just maybe a little bit over here like this. So a little bit uneven. So the water coming up like that. And let's take a look. I'm going to lower the horizon line. So uh, the line would be only here, not aligned with the top of the head. So could be a little bit better now. So those decisions you have to make creatively at the beginning, uh, not rushing into the details. Now I'm going to have cut the water a little bit more interesting and dynamic divided shape like this like that and a little bit uneven and the water over here like this give it a little bit more active it's very important okay let's see should we make her a little bit bigger uh, um, maybe I'm gonna move it a little bit more to the right hand side like this right over here and moving forward, keep a little bit more room at the front. Okay, um, I think this is, would be my composition. So, okay, I'm gonna do a little more of the drawing and let's see. If I decide that she would be here, this is the head and this is the leg over here. So I'm gonna see uh, what's the direction from the head coming not straight down so coming a little bit more this angle so this leg would be over here right and then the other legs at the front moving like this a little bit in front of this and take a look at this actually it very much line up the front of the head okay now let's do a little vertical um, measurement. Like say, this is the bottom over here. Let's take a look. I'm going to squint my eyes and actually I can divide that into this kind of scale. This is the white dress right over here and maybe a little bit lower. Uh, just thinking about this, this divide it into three blocks, one, two, and three. And the bottom over here uh, looks like the same as the top. Okay, I'm gonna make the dress even a little bit lower over here like this. 
Okay, this is good. Uh, you need to use your observational skill and pay attention to it. Only think about the biggest uh, connection. Let's see. And then the dress, very much like a, a rectangle. It's a rectangular shape. Now I'm gonna add something over here and the front over here. Now I can get a little bit more detail. A little bit more changes. That's just the dress. Now coming up over here from here, and a little uh, 2D line coming up here, and that's just the shoulder. Like that. And this is the spine area coming up, coming down like this. That's good. And then this curve coming down like this. Looks like a little triangle in here. And let's take a look. Before we draw more, we're gonna see where's just the hand on this side. And the hand, I think, from here coming up with this uh, angle extended. And then that's just the hand. So that's easy. I can connect that right over here. Thinking of the big connection before I think small connection. And this is just good. And on this hand is about here. Uh, the whole thing is coming down like this. Look, and before you draw. And this the hand. And that's good. And uh, here, I don't see the face. So I see the here, lots of here. Over here, moving, really interesting. And that's good. I'm going to move in on this side. So this is the head. You see, that's very simple. I'm going to let go the sun glasses and just going to draw the hand. You can make your own decisions. And now take a look at the lake. And this one is pretty easy, right over here. And then this one, I'm going to move it a little bit more back like this. I'm going to keep it like this. It's good. That. And on this side, you can first keep it like a rectangle, that rectangular shape, and then cut a little bit triangle in here. And then you can find uh, the contour on the back over here. So this is pretty easy. And take a look at the this is the front leg, and I can keep it simple. If you think about, oh, so much details, you don't have to draw like that. You're gonna pick your, the best of process so that you make your eye go easy, okay? Simple first, before you're going a little bit complicated. Now, basically, the person's I already finished. I don't have to draw all the details at this point. I just plan the, the spaces. And when I get to the painting, I then go in there, look very closely, observe, and find um, the detail and paint it on directly with paint. Now that's good. Now I'm gonna see a little bit over here, the, uh, the splashes on the beach over here, and the water like that. I'm going to use this with um, uh, masking fluid and as well as uh, the person. I'm going to mask it with masking fluid with the white dress and also this brushes. And the whole background, I'm going to paint it first before I remove their masking fluid and then um, paint it into the main objects later. So doing it this process, uh, you would make your uh, attention more focused on one thing first and then go into the next things later. So you will feel much relaxing. Um, we are created, but does it have to be uh, miserable or confusing? Okay. Here we go. Now we are going to start the masking. Before you start the masking it, 
and you need to make sure your brush would be uh, protected. So I'm going to use this uh, number four round brush. It's very good quality, it's stable brush. I would not just dip into the masking fluid because in that case, the masking fluid will get inside all the hairs and it will be very difficult to get them off from the brush. So what I'm going to do, I need to get help from some soap. I'm going to use the soap bar. I'm going to use this water. Now I'm going to first apply the soap. Let the soap get inside of the brush. So there will be no space for the masking fluid to get in. That is the idea. Okay. I only need a small amount of masking fluid. Okay, I'm going to dip a little water and start taking some masking fluid. Now, I'm going to start from the, the hair. I don't need to mask it because it's darker than anything. So it's okay the background color pink into the hair space. So I'm going to start masking the area from the shoulder over here. If you can, do it a little bit faster so that the, the masking fluid, it won't get into uh, the uh, inside the brush. So take a look again. Okay, let's see. Just focus on the edge. Try to make it as precise as you can. But you can also remove the masking fluid after the masking fluid dry before the painting. And now, I'm going to add a little splashes and uh, uh, put the water over here. That's good enough. That's all I need to protect. Uh, immediately, I will wash my brush. Now it's very easy to get rid of all the masking for it. And I'm going to let the paper dry. And after it completely dry, I come back to start the background. Okay, the paper already dry. Sometimes when you have some thick areas in the masking foot, you probably want to wait a little bit longer, like even 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Make sure it's totally dry before you come back to start the painting. Now we're going to painting into the background. And I'm going to start from the sky. First, I'm going to keep a little space over here, a little clean space. Okay. I'm going to get the present blue. I 
I try to make the sky to have the proper value in color uh, in one round, the maximum two round. You don't want to get back and forth, get them for into the same area. And now let's take a look. I'm using this one inch flat brush so you can cover a big space more consistently. Now I don't need to worry about the hair because the hair will be darker than the blue color that I'm putting. Let's see. There's the horizon line. That's good. Now I'm gonna have the color coming down. I change the color, have a little bit more yellow color and a little green. So change the color like this, just to add the color to it. So I'm gonna connect that. Now the horizon line is very soft. I'm gonna come back to give a little color to it if I need to. Um, let's see. Let's see. Where is that? The line coming down is not really smooth, so it would be fine. And then have a little bit of this gray color over here. I'm having the brush uh, flat and also have it just use the corner. So paint it very much like what you would do to paint with the, um, a smaller brush. Now I'm going to continue with this color. Got a little bit more yellow and paint it into some of the gap over here. Let's see how you think about how you're going to render your brush. Think a little bit bigger space. Some of the white space you want to leave it and keep it like that. Some bigger shape, some smaller shape. And think about the connection between those shapes and try to get the rhythm. It's good. And then come to over here. I'm going to leave that areas to be white. I may go into glaze over with a little gray color uh, down over here. I will do that uh, after this layer drive. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have some blue color, come back to the present blue, the blue gray color. Okay, this is what we get. Maybe a little ultramarine blue. Okay. Give a little bit lighter. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna see. Because the masking fluid help to blocking some of the areas that I would pay attention after as a separate shape. So I can be a little bit more free painting and not much worry about that I would destroy some of their 
uh, yeah, we are like the skin color, uh, the dress, and those things. I would not have a worry free um, experience now. Just painting over. Like that. Probably have a little bit more gray color. Got this a little gray color. Got a little bit um, of the marine blue in here with the gray color. Like that, maybe a little bit red. That's good. I'm gonna take a look at. And I wanna organize a little bit. This area can be a little bit uh, darker. Like that too. That's good. A little bit better organizations. And this is still drive, so I'll come back a little bit later. After that drive, I'll come back to give a little bit more separation uh, in the distance uh, horizon. Now I'm going to come into um, the sand. The sand is a warm gray color, so I'm going to mix that yellow, red, and have a little bit blue. And this is the color for the scent. Let's see. Take a look at the side on the, the shape of the scent. That's good. That's pretty easy to do. And there is uh, a little bit wet uh, area here. I will paint that a little bit later, have a little bit blue colors after you drive. Okay, this is good. And I'm gonna use a, the smaller brush. I'm gonna get this um, calligraphy brush from Asia. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a little bit darker. Um, get the blue color, the red color. Okay, this is pretty dark. This is good. I'm gonna paint it into this, um, the catch the shadow. That's good. Now this area almost ready, um, but we're gonna come back to um, the water first. And what I want to do, I want to make this area a lower area have a little bit more gray color. So I'm gonna take this color, make it a little bit lighter. This will be the color I want. So I'm gonna glaze that over. So I have the top over here a little bit lighter. So this is the organizations making sure the relationship of the color in a proper connection. That's good. Now the top over here, the water over here, I'm gonna move that a little bit higher. Need to move this a little bit higher. And different paper react to the color a bit different. Some paper is again holding on uh, the paints really strong and you cannot uh, remove much. But use a larger brush and be a little persistent, you still can do it in a different degree. Now a little bit lighter. That's good. 
that's good. No worry, we're gonna make the, the top over here, we're gonna work on the color and we can make the outside over here a little bit darker, so we form the edge uh, later. Now this is good, I'm gonna come back over here, ready to put uh, the, the, the blue colors, blue gray colors in this area. That's good. And now at this time, I was going to um, leave a little color on the top over here and some of the color still a little wet, pretty easy. Okay, now I'm gonna start, give it a little um, texture at the front. So what I like to do, I'm gonna take a little darker color, a little blue color, the red color, and some yellow color. And I'm going to just tap. Okay. Now the area, you don't want to keep those brush. You just lift it up. Now what I like to do, I'm gonna change to a smaller brush and give a little um, bit of details into the water area before I going back to the horizon area. I'm gonna take this color, it looks good. Maybe a little too bright, so take this color, that's good. Now I'm gonna come back over here to reform. Take a look, the, the value may be too dark. If you're too dark, you want to adjust it. Okay, we need we need this kind of details. In this area, I need to have a little bit, tone it down a little bit and coming over here now. The outside is already drives, so that's good. Now I'm gonna gradually working up over here. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna use this bigger round brush. I'm gonna take the little bit more blue color. Now working up over here again. Now we have a chance to reform the edge. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, use a little bit water. Extend this color up here. And now I'm not sure that I need to have a little bit darker color on for the horizon. So let's see. I maybe give it a little bit, a little bit more. All right, let's see. But well, definitely we don't want it to be too much. If it's too much, it maybe make it look standing out too much. I don't want that to become very dominate. That's good. So you don't have to make it very persistent. Okay, I think the ocean, it looks just fine. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. So I have the water from light coming to dark. And I also wanna lift up all of the color over here. In this area, I need to light it up a little bit. A little bit more blue color and over here. That's good. And I'm gonna leave it dry. Okay, this already dry. So I decided to come back over here. Give a little bit of the uh, blue green color first. And I need to organize it a little bit, a little bit messy over here. So, Study a reference, pick up some of the information that will be helpful. Let's see. Okay. Give it a little bit, a little bit more shape. It's a little bit too unclear. Okay, I think we are ready. Let's see, I'm gonna emphasize actually the, the wave move, the movement a little bit more. That's good. Now let's walk into the main object. So what I want to do, I'm going to just use my finger. You can use the 
special eraser to lift it up. So just use a dry, clean finger. That's good. If you have your uh, masking fluid layers thick enough, it will be very easy. Just peel it off. So now what I want to do, I'm going to erase some of the pencil before I start painting. Okay, now I'm using this brush. Now I'm going to uh, mix the skin color and first I'm going to put the color in the skin area first and take a look. This is a little bit too bright so I need a little bit blue color in here. This one color it would be a very strongly um, complement to the cool color of the ocean. Let's see. I think I need a little bit more yellow and red color. So I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter. Let's see. This color may be a little bit too bright. But sometimes you can change the uh, color. Let me see. I'm going to continue going down the arm and take a look again, again as you paint. the hand now I'm gonna come into the other side now the color I'm gonna change a little bit have a little bit more blue I'm going to do the uh, define the shadow a little bit later. Just look at the whole arm with the shape. Ignore those small changes at this point. I'm going to get a little bit more brighter color and then tap on it and then come back over here. It's a little bit too much uh, blue. Okay, now take a look at the finger. Painting is pretty easy if you have the patience 
and and follow the proper process. Everything is fine. So I'm now we're just laying down the base color for the top over here. Now I continue onto the uh, leg. I think I have a little bit more yellow color down over here. So I've got a little bit of yellow color. Look before you paint. Now continue. So when you look at the shadow in the shape, you don't want to leave the shadow area. You want to paint the shadow co color the same as you, you're painting the light side. Okay, like uh, the top over here. It should be also have the same color as the light side. Now it's good. Now I'm going to leave some area for the suggestions for the brushes on the leg. Like that. This is good. Now when you get to this point, and the color on the top is very much dry so i'm going to mix the blue color with the red i'm going to make those really dark uh, color for the hair okay i'm going to paint it into the shape of the hair So this is the bigger shape. Now looking for with the shoulder line. Let's just get, I'm going to mix a little gray color, but more like a little, little cool gray color. This is would be the color we want. Now looking for this triangle.
And the front over here looks like a little bit purple. Very light purple color. So this is, if you light up this color, get a little red. Too much, too much red. I'm gonna take this color with this. Yes, this is good. So I'm gonna have light enough. So it's making sure the dress is light enough compared to the ocean. Okay. Looking for that, the line. It create a good expression for showing its structure. That's good. That's good enough for the front. And then looking at the back, the back has a little bit more blue color. Let's see. Gonna use the brush to soften this. First, I'm gonna paint the darker color for the hands first. I think it's already dried enough, it's ready. Now I have a little bit darker brown color. You see the whole area here and the finger, it actually look a little bit darker. So first, paint this whole area darker first. If you need it, you can go into, again, to create uh, the separation between those fingers. I'm gonna come here to make that. Where's the the back of the elbow? Okay, here. Here you go. That's a good enough suggestions. And the front over here has a little bit, just a little bit greenish blue colors. I'm gonna just pick this color. And this color combine the color I already have on the paper. Now create a good it. That's a good showing, the good contrast. That's good. And I'm looking at the back, it has a little bit darker color. So just you could use the same color. And if you took two layer on top of each other, it actually showing is darker. Like that, nice. Now, uh, the bottom over here has I'm going to continue with a little darker. So I'm going to have a little red color in here. We already have some enough blue and red over here. Get a little yellow so I can get a very nice brown color. So there is a very dark color. There's the catch the shadow. And this is still soft. I'll come back there later. And the bottom over here is the little darker shape. 
and come over here there's some darker shade no need to rush enjoy the process That's good. Now I'm going to make the color a little bit lighter for here. Now add a little bit darker. Nice shape. And for the arm, now I'm going to have a, give it even a little bit darker over here. That's good. And on this side, now at a tip of the finger have a little bit more red color so I'm just get a very little tiny tiny red color don't really need that much a little bit like that that's good the tip of the thumb over here too that's good now I'm going to come down to, okay, now we're walking into the finger a little bit. And that's a good suggestion. So you have to do bigger shape in, in order to come to smaller shape. Now on the other side of the arm, it has a little bit shadow. So I'm gonna now we're ready to put back the darker color or the catch the shadow on the arm. Like this. Now take a look at the hair over here. And on the top, I'm going to have a little bit lighter of this color, the top over here. Blend it in a little bit. That's good. Now coming down here on the dress, I have some a little bit blue color, like a purplish color, but a little bit more gray. I'm gonna pick this color. Look for the color, don't rush. Okay, you need to get the correct color. Now let's see. Like that. Everything for you is just shape. Okay. And now I have a little bit lighter of this color, maybe a little brighter, a little bit lighter. 
right over here. Now I'm going to add a little bit, a little bit darker touch in here. And as well as here. As well, and get a little bit brown color over here and showing the change of dimension. And turn the um, the outline of the leg. Okay, that's good. Now on the top over here, I've decided to even keep a little bit warmer color on the top over here. That's good. Now on this side, I'm going to decide to also give it a little bit blue green color and on the edge over here showing the dimension. Like that. As well, on the arm here. Now come to the back. Okay, add a little bit red. A little bit yellow. So only these three primary colors. Okay, let's see. Look before you painting. Okay, that's good. With the line coming down like this. Have a little bit, a little bit of a tongue on the top over here. A little tongue over here. Okay, also a little tongue over here. So you get smaller and smaller area to create the suggestions of the structure of the muscle, those. And a little bit in here. I think this is good. We need to get away from that. I'm going to come back to take a look at the other connection. And first, I'm going to lift up a little highlight on the shoulder. That's good. And a little bit here too. Using lifting up, it can create a very smooth, subtle highlight, but also remain the uh, transition very smooth, which is helpful for the skin. Now that's good. I'm gonna working on the connection. I'm gonna make around this uh, skirt to be a little bit uh, just very subtle, a little bit blue color. Okay, just a little bit of that blue color. So it can form, suggest the skirt, the shape of the, 
That's good. Very little subtle difference. And the bottom over here, because too many shape, too many distractions. That help. And on the top here, I also need to soften that white space. First, soften it. Second, I'm going to continue. Take this color and I'm going to fill this in. And then the connect, the contrast will be lessened. I'll come back to soften it a little bit more. And maybe we're going to paint that area. Maybe a little bit more blue colors. But for now, let's come back to give a little better suggestions for the splash over here. It looks like this color. Looking for the shape. Let's get a little bit lighter. Over here. Good. Very easy if you observe. Now I'm going to reform a little bit of the catch the shadow on the water. So this way I can uh, also form the um, this water splash a little bit better. Let's take a look. I want to make this a little bit smaller, but definitely too big. Much better. Like that. Now let's see. I want to put a better color for the sand. What I would like to do, I'm going to get a little brighter yellow color. Just put it on the top. This color look a little bit better. Now I also want to come back to um, Put them to wash on the uh, ocean. Okay, I'm gonna start with a little bit more of the blue color first. I don't want to make it too dark, but make sure it enough. Start from the top. That's good. Continue on this side. Now, I'm gonna get a little bit of this 
green color. Now connect that to the front. Okay, now that color look better. Now I add a, a little bit, a little bit darker, just for the top over here. A little bit. I don't want to make it all connected. That's good. Now let's give it further suggestions when the water over here. Okay, and get a little green color, but it's not too bright. This color is good. Give it a little bit more. Like that. Now it's better organized, a little easier. Mm -hmm. Okay, the bottom over here, it looks like a little bit. Nice suggestion. A little bit more blue color. Speaking of the ads in this video, and the ad is how YouTube's making the revenue. I am also in the YouTube partnership. So part of the revenue actually would come to uh, support this channel. So if you see any ad that interests you, that I encourage you to click on it to learn about those product or services. And I'm gonna put the line for the eyeglass frame, look before you paint. And every support that you can give, that you can do, it help allow me to spend the time in my studio and do more uh, quality video for you. Okay. And now I think the painting is already in a very good shape. I'm gonna have this a little bit more contrast between the sand and the water. And when you think about contrast and more on the uh, value, dark and light, and less about the color, you can always change the colors easily by adding one primary color or the others. 
And now I'm going to make this shadow a little bit better. And the top over there, it should have a little brighter blue color. Like this. And have this a little bit gray color over here. And form the dimension a little bit better, like that. It's showing a dimension moving like this and turning in a little bit different direction. And over here, I can actually also have this blue gray color over here, keep a little bit more. And now I think the painting is finished. We're gonna start product giveaways very soon. If you haven't subscribed or if you already subscribed but haven't turned on notification, please check the bell icon right next to the subscription button. When I have the next new video published, you will be notified. See you next time.